Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Network Analysis and Synthesis. We'll talk about Reciprocity Theorem for AC networks today. This theorem has already been covered for DC networks and we solved a numerical when we did this theorem for DC networks. The theorem is not at all different for AC networks, it's just that we need to keep our approach towards AC networks very very um, straightforward we do not need to worry about AC networks we do not need to fear AC networks uh, they are simple networks uh, with impedances in the arms and if you are uh, conversant enough in calculating uh, complex numbers then it shouldn't be a worry to you if this is something that interests you then please keep watching Let's look at the statement for reciprocity theorem. It states that for a linear network containing sources and impedances, now I highlight this point sources and by sources we mean that if we have voltage sources in a network, the ratio of a voltage V introduced in one loop to the current I produced in any other loop is the same as the ratio of the voltage and current obtained if the position of the voltage source V and the current measured are interchanged. The statement is pretty easy. Let's look into the details of the meaning of this statement. Let's see we have this network with three arms and we have a voltage source in this loop this is one loop so we have a voltage source here and because of this voltage source let us say i3 current is flowing in the other loop so what happens is if we interchange these voltage sources and currents so if i take this voltage source here and try to find the current here they shall be exactly equal or in other words the ratio of v upon i3 will be equivalent to v upon i1 that implies i3 is equivalent to i1 so that's how you state reciprocity theorem uh, that's that's how you explain it using circuits uh, you could place voltage here and if you would have taken this voltage source here then you would have to monitor this current let this current would have been i2 then if you place this voltage source here then this i2 will be equivalent to i1 now let us solve a numerical based upon reciprocity theorem in ac networks we need to verify the reciprocity theorem in the circuit. Let's see the circuit. What is asked? Uh, in this circuit, a voltage source is placed in, then in this branch and I2 dash current is specified in this branch. So it is automatically implied that we need to take this voltage source here in this branch where the current I2 is flowing and then we'll need to find the current in this branch where the voltage source was placed and we need to verify that this I2 dash current is equivalent to the current flowing through this branch when the voltage source is displaced from here. So what needs to be done is the objective is to first find I2 dash because if we are to establish that this I2 dash is equivalent to the current flowing here when this voltage source is placed here then we must find I2 dash first and in order to find I2 dash what we need to do is we need to find the source current I so some source current will flow from this voltage source and then we need to use the current division rule and we need to find I2 dash secondly we redraw the circuit with voltage source and current source interchange by that I mean that we need to redraw the circuit now and I take up this voltage source and move it into the second loop and when I place this voltage source in the second loop some 
current I source will flow in this loop and we need to find that source current and further we'll need to find I2 double dash which will be easily found using the current division rule and after having done the exercise I2 dash should come out to be equivalent to I2 double dash and if that happens our reciprocity theorem is verified so what we do here is we first find the total impedance of this circuit and how do we find the total impedance of this circuit the total impedance of the circuit seen by this voltage source is 5 ohm and these two impedances in parallel so we have 5 plus 1 plus 2j into 4 minus 4j upon 1 plus 2j plus 4 minus 4j and then it all boils down to calculation of complex number and this can be easily done on FX991 ES calculator using polar to rectangular or complex number calculations and I've made a separate separate video uh, on how to use the 991 ES calculator for complex number calculation you must see that video in order to get an answer to this very quickly but for the time being my Z in comes out to be equivalent to 6.96 .6, angle 12.59 and I substitute this value to find the source current I and my source current is nothing but the voltage upon the total impedance so my voltage is 10 angle 90 and the impedance is 6.96 .6 angle 12.59 that gives me my source current so a part of this current will go into this branch as I2 dash and that can be found using current division rule so applying current division rule I need to find I2 dash so total current coming is 1.437 angle 77.41 into opposite branches impedance opposite branches impedance is 1 plus 2j upon opposite branches impedance plus my own impedance again you need to take help of the calculator to find I2 dash and the value of I2 dash is this much it's almost 0.6 ampere and in the second step now the total impedance of the circuit as seen by this voltage source changes because this is the series branch and these two become the parallel branches so what I have here is the total impedance is 4 minus 4j plus these two in parallel so 5 into 1 plus j2 upon 5 plus 1 plus j2 again you need to take help of calculator you'll find z in to be equivalent to 5.926 angle minus 27.64 and you need to put that value in this relation v upon z to find the source current and this source current has got nothing to do with our verification purposes because we need the current in this branch now because we have displaced our voltage source from here so I again use current division rule in current division rule my total current flowing into this node total current entering into this node is this much and some part of it will go into the 5 ohm resistor branch and that can be easily calculated using current division rule total current entering into opposite branches resistance upon opposite branches resistance plus my own resistance and that comes out to be exactly 5 point I'm sorry 0 0.597 angle 162.64 amperes so both the currents they come out equal 
so that goes to verify the reciprocity theorem for this circuit now if you were to verify the reciprocity theorem in this branch then you would have to calculate the current here first let us say i1 dash and then in the second circuit that you would have redrawn you needed to place the voltage source here and again you needed to calculate the current here because of the voltage source being placed here now and those two currents should have come equal and I highly encourage that you solve this scenario also to verify reciprocity theorem of uh, this circuit in each and every branch that will be fun and a good exercise and I hope you liked the video the content of the video if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel I'll see you around in the next video to come and take care of your health stay inside and Bye-bye.